Okay, welcome to Animation Technically and today via uh, rather popular request like lots and lots of you wanted me to do this um, so I'm gonna do it and we're gonna look at the recent Adopt Me Mythic Egg Pets we're gonna go through all of them we're not gonna spend major detail on them because they are still at our heart simple rigs each one with specific quirks and oddities made to facilitate the kind of animation I want to put on it um, so let's start with the phoenix because I happen to have it up at the time and it's you can see it's simple most of them will be the mythic eggs um, they weren't crazy complex on the rigging side we've done lots of other pets that are uh, crazier and more experimental on that side but everything's kind of in line with the butterfly I actually showed before that I've only added controllers where I wanted to use them for uh, the wings so I could get that kind of mirrored animation I want on them and I've done again I've brought it out to the feathers as well for that same thing just so I can get those that bit of detail on the flaps it's quite simple really um, everything else because I orient in world space uh, to facilitate importing into Roblox everything is kept fairly simple in this case I didn't even bother to use the foot controllers um, which I normally keep separate from the rig so I can move separately and it's not moving with the body but in this case because of the animation that's going on um, I released the constraints on the rig just so it would move with the controller the Phoenix is quite simple in that most of the uh, the detail just comes from animating the base bones so let's talk about the Ryzen yes it's red it wasn't a plan it wasn't anything to do with adopt me in that it was simply I started this before I had the finished thing uh, and in my mind wyverns are red why are they red because I've played fire emblem and that's what they are in that so I colored it red it's really that simple there's no more story to read into it than that um, but the rig on the other hand again not that much more complicated than average I, again I kept these simple so same control system as the Phoenix with the wings keeping it nice and simple same kind of controls uh, I extend the bones into the back here as well so I can do additional bits if I need to um, but it keeps it again quite simple because the topology wasn't crazy uh, it can't be because of the Roblox limit so everything keeps safe I think he might be the only one of the mythic pets to have a jaw as well and that gets used um, what you'll be seeing here again because I started work on this early is there is no mouth inside there um, just because I get the earliest versions of the pets to start the animations as early as possible but he's quite simple again nothing crazy used um, it's all hand, animate, hand animated to get the sliding along the floor there's always little bits of clipping and I like a little bit of clipping but it kind of does around the same way that your skin will kind of pressure up against something when it makes contact with it a little bit of clipping is kind of indicative of that without being any being able to do any kind of de uh, mesh uh, crazy mesh deformation anyway at least so let's talk about the uh, real beauty of this or well, at least I think it is the gold horn everyone loves the gold horn he's a bit of a baller that ring was something that I really wanted to make good use out of it so that's incorporated into every one of his animations but again though it's not crazy in any way um, in this case all I've done is taken two different locators uh, and I've parented the bones to that so I can get the animation I want very easily it's again not that crazy uh, for this one in particular I just used the one locator and had both bones attached to it but there are plenty of other options for different animations I'll actually show off a different one instead so as you can see here in this case I actually have the bones doing two different things uh, and they're just rotating and orienting as they need to uh, where we have the control obviously on the wings for the flying animals I do the same setup on the ears and you can see a good example of how I keep the feet separated from the body with these controllers for these but again simple uh, the skinning a little bit more complicated just because of these flowers but it's pretty basic again it's all keeping it simple so that the animation can flow fast it can be done quickly uh, and I can iterate over the animations as quick as possible because then I'm getting them done and I'm testing them and I'm doing feedback on them let's talk about the Kirin um, the Kirin is a cute fluffy little deer like creature that I really like uh, I think here's something you notice that it didn't make into a final game this got spotted as clipping something with deformation you want to be careful of it's not actually clipping it's just this poking through this um, which technically again is clipping but it's not necessarily the skin weights that are the problem here it's just about adjusting this mesh 
that was done in the master file but it's not in the animation same solution on the ears and it looks like bridges this uh, one I did originally attempt to use dynamics on I wanted to try a tail out being dynamic as opposed to hand animated um, it didn't work maybe I'll return to it in the future try it test out on something different something that perhaps would make best use of dynamics but you can see here how the controls are done so I can just get little tail flicks with the flame up but again it's fairly basic I mean there's a few little artistic flourishes here that kind of remind me of the Guardian line um, but the setup on that had a bone for every single one of those little bits and flicks and that would actually be something of a fun rig to show off as well but it was all still very FK based in its animation so let's talk about the Sasquatch is the Sasquatch my favourite? Uh, possibly I found his animations the most fun to do um, because he has a very simple aesthetic and by aesthetic I mean his art style is very similar to the Yeti in design because they are two things from the same core in mythology so well obviously the yeti did not use uh, deformation this one does so obviously we can have crazy flappy arms but also we can have stretching of the arms which happens in some animations as well as you saw in the wave animation again it's an fk chain but it's all done to give as much movement as possible i mean you really want that stretchiness so it's not just about rotating it's about squashing the body in and bringing it out so you can really have that bounce in the animations which is what helps him with his little jump there also his personality being a bit more bumbly uh than the yeti which is more kind of a, a fitness guru of animation sets um I, I wanted them to feel distinct wise in their personality and i even gave him a little flourish there as well so the Hippocampus, Kelpie, Mel Horse. Uh, I, I call it Kelpie. That's what I thought it was at the start of it. So don't read anything into that other than just what I name my local files. Um, it's a Mel Horse. But this is the most complicated rig. Again, not because it's complex in any way, but there is a lot there to it. These wings have three different parts. Uh, if you're interested, the skinning process is actually rather simple. If you, once you get the wing how you want, you can actually copy the skin weights to here. Uh, and the other bits of the wings and it will take them in world space based on the joints so it's actually really easy to skin because you only need to do one part and you can take it from the rest but again every single part of this thing can be moved I really really wanted to use this quiff as a part of animation so that's heavily incorporated into the animations uh, as are all these little bits here again this is something that probably would have benefited from some dynamics to help me speed up this animation and do something different uh, I'd like to get crazy with bones in the future and using dynamics as opposed to the hand animate something will certainly be worth doing but again you know it's a horse with a haircut a fairy wings and a mermaid tail <clears throat> but with as many movable bits as possible I am going to go out and say this probably took me the longest of all the mythic pets to animate uh, because there were just so many parts so I keep doing passes and going back and going back to add in more detail Hydra, um, he was actually the last one of the Mythic Pets I did. Um, so he feels very different compared to the other pets in his stature. He feels weightier, he feels heavier. Um, someone sent me a picture of a Hydra with wings. Um, Hydras don't have wings. Play Dark Souls, people, you'll see it. Uh, also, look at mythology. Hydras do not fly, they are not dragons, they are lizards of sorts. Um, so he's very much like, well, Cerberus, which we did before for the last year Halloween, but we added the neck, we added the full tail, he he feels long, but again, there's nothing crazy about him. Um, and in some animations, I actually animated all three heads at once, uh, and then I offset them, and then I went in on animation layers, uh, once I had that bobbing animation, to then add more left and right, or pitch and your animation onto everything else, and that's how you get these nice little bounces um i tried to make him feel a little bit playful even though he looks like a weighty beast uh because it's it's kind of the style we do for everything so i don't want to not have that if it doesn't feel cute and bouncy it doesn't feel like it's the adopt me style to me anyway ah uh, yes another crazy merhorse combination of animals here so um the wolper tinger was something i really wanted to play around with something that felt like uh, a hybrid of things that didn't quite work so I kind of had a little bit of the dodo's essence to his character where he's 
he's trying to fly but he can't because he's a big big heavy thing really so he has a little bit to him he doesn't quite feel right like when the torso should be going up once because it's the, the lightest part of the body with all the air you know the, the back side goes up first it doesn't feel right it doesn't look right it shouldn't feel realistic and i'm hoping that's what i got across with the animations but you can see here again it's the same solution used over for each one um it's not the same rig i always have to build them uh build them to spec it just has to be because the rigs are always going to be different there's always going to be added bits here uh, unless it's a complete retarget of animations and the last one we did for that was the skelly rex and before then a long way back or possibly the jungle egg um, we haven't done any retargeting since uh, which is just when we share the same skeleton animations per pet uh, and either adjust the pet or keep the pet on there uh, you can do some fun stuff with that sometimes but in this case it was just making it feel like it when pets have close to the same rigs like the sasquatch just did you want to make it feel different uh, and i do try to and this leaves me with the mythic egg itself which is the last thing um and I, I noticed no one asked me about this but i just wanted to say it's again it's taking something simple and just doing something easy with it the basic principles of animation squash and stretch if you start an animation course you're going to be animating a ball so you want to try and use those same principles for something like this the rig setup is very simple it is three bones you have one that does here and then you've got one that does your stretch there and there no controllers it's just simple animation um not that it became simple getting it into roblox but it is simple and neat and easy and clean and that's all you need to do really and that's the the mythic egg animals i hope you've kind of like this little delve through them uh it feels funny to me to go through them i guess because of the popularity of the mythic egg animals you wanted to just see more of them but the, the technicalities of the rigging uh isn't what i class as major like something like the snake or the robot dog things like that that felt like really groundbreaking things trying to get these kind of rigs and solutions working in roblox the mythic eggs we didn't anticipate we didn't have problems like that because the rigs were still quite simple had problems in other areas and you always have problems but it's game development but it's simple <laughs> these are simple and they were made that way Anyway, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you found this enjoyable.